Hey, hello! Today we are going to talk about the functions. You can see in our script that we've got some methods prepared by Unity, which is start and update method. They are called automatically by the Unity loop. The Unity engine knows when those functions need to be executed, but now we'll create our own. At the moment, we've got a functionality that in each frame in the update method, we increase the points number and display them in the console. So maybe it would be a good idea to prepare our own function to do this task. So let's go beneath and create our function. Function needs to have a return type. It can have any type like variables. It can have int, float, string and whatever else, but there are some types like void, for example, as you can see in the start and update, and those functions don't return anything. And it is the simplest form of functions. And today we will cover only this type. So let's type void. And now we need to provide the name for our function. It should increase our points. So it's a good idea to name it increase points. And now we need to add parentheses and curly braces at the end. As you can see, this is the standard block of code, which has some name, then parentheses, and then curly braces. This is quite a standard syntax for this block. Remember that functions can have different types, but today we are covering only the void type. We'll move the functionality from the update and paste it here. When we create our own functions, they are not called automatically. Unity doesn't recognize them. It can read that something like that exists now in our script, but it doesn't know how and when it should be called. So we need to call them by ourselves. And now we can decide when it should be called. If we want to call it only once at the beginning, we can call it in the start method. But if we want it to be called in each frame, we can call it there. Of course, there is many other events and methods prepared by Unity when we can use it, but at the moment we don't have to worry about that. So let's say I want to call this in each frame. So we need to write our function name and we need to add parentheses and of course semicolon at the end because this is instruction. So thanks to that, we created our own function and we call this in the update method, which will execute this function in each frame. So remember that our own functions need to be created and called because they are different from the methods that are provided by Unity. So now if we go back to Unity and press play, we could see that inside the console our points will be increased and displayed in each frame.